Hello and welcome to my channel and in today's video I'll be explaining you or giving you a basic tutorial on LT Spice. All the basic stuff that is required to run LT Spice so that you can create your own new schematic. So this over here is the LT Spice. To download LT Spice the link will be given in the, in the description below. So just go there and download it. Installing is easy. Just click on next next install like any other software so this is LT Spice these are various tools available in LT Spice so let's get started with our schematic so click on new schematic this is new schematic the background changes and as you can see the icon of mouse is also changed to into a plus sign now I'll be explaining you each and every tool over here along with that I'll be explaining you a circuit so that is easy to understand the circuit I'll be explaining you is a CMOS inverter this over here is a CMOS inverter this one is a PMOS and this blue bubble over here this indicates that this is a PMOS there's no blue bubble over here that means this one is an NMOS there's a ground connected over here to NMOS VDD that is the power supply not the power supply the VDD is connected to the PMOS this is the output voltage this is the input voltage now this waveform this one this is the input waveform and as you can see when the input is low the output this is the output one the output is high and when the input is high the output is low CMOS inverter is basically an inverter that is it inverts whatever is in the input and this is the waveform. Now coming to the schematic again. These are various tools. The first one is the open tool to basically open our file on LT Spice. To save a file on LT Spice, you have the save tool. This one is the control panel. This one over here, this guy running over here, this is a run tool that is used for running your schematic, that is running your circuit. So we'll be drawing your circuit over here after completing your circuit. Click over here, this will run your circuit. This one is to zoom. This one is again to zoom. These are uh, this one is used for closing all tabs of LT Spice. This one is cut tool. Cut tool is basically a delete tool. This is pair of scissors over here. Now this one is the search tool that is the binoculars. This one is wire tool to connect to components. Now over here, these three are the basic components used in every circuit that is resistor, capacitor and inductor. This one is the label tool to label a component. This one is diode, this will give you various diodes like Zener diode etc. Now this one is a component tab. When you click on it, a new tab, okay my bad, okay here you go. A new tab opens up, this one is a new tab. It contains every single component available in LT Spice, like a varactor, a Zener diode, a key, a PMOS or NMOS. This one is the move tool to move any component of a circuit. This one is a drag tool to drag move. To drag any component of a circuit, this one is undo, this one is redo, this one is rotate, and this one finally is the mirror. Now coming to a circuit I'll be using a PMOS and NMOS okay so this one is a NMOS you can just sorry it I'll do it again if you search PMOS this shows you PMOS there are two PMOSs available the first one is just PMOS only plain PMOS and this one is PMOS 4 so difference over it in both of these is like as you can see over here this is PMOS 4 concentrate on this part and this is PMOS. Now in PMOS, this one is known as the body. The body is already connected to the source. And in PMOS 4, the body is not connected, it is left open. So in PMOS 4, you have to manually connect your body. And in PMOS, it's already connected. I'll be using PMOS 4. You can use PMOS as well, it doesn't matter. I'll just be using PMOS 4. Now, after placing PMOS 4, as you can see, this one are available over here. When I click on mirror, this is the mirror PMOS as you can see. When I click on rotate, 
this is what you get. This one is the rotated PMOS, this one is the mirrored PMOS, and this is the normal PMOS that we used. Now to delete these, click on cut and select the component you want to delete. Now coming back to our circuit, I'll be using an NMOS. So here is NMOS. NMOS four to be specific. Now I'll connect both of these by a uh, wire. As you can see, there's a wire. This one is the wire. It connects both the PMOS and the NMOS. Now I'll just place all the components that are required. That is a voltage source. I'll be using two voltage sources and two voltage sources in the sense because one will be acting as a VDD and one will be acting as a VIN that is the input supply supply voltage so this is VDD and this is VIN now all we require is a ground and you are done with your components you have all the components required now I will just finish with the connection first so it's much easier to understand by the way, you can have like multiple grounds over here. Like you can have a ground for only P, only for PMOS and NMOS. You can have a ground specifically for VDD and for VIN. But I'll be using a, a single ground that is the common ground for all of these. The reason I'm using common ground is basically it reduces your circuit size but it also increases the complexity no it i mean sorry my bad it reduces your comp uh, it reduces your circuit size as well as the complexity whereas if you use multiple ground it doesn't matter i'm just more comfortable with a common ground now after you're done no i'm not done you have to connect your body as well this is pmos for one my bad Whereas, okay, now in PMOS, this body, this part is connected to the VDD, and in NMOS, the body is connected to the ground because in PMOS, this part over here, this part is the source, and over in, in, over in NMOS, the source is down. That is, one sec, I'll just change the color. Blue, okay, this one is the source. Of NMOS and this one is the source of PMOS. This is the drain of NMOS, this, this area, and this area is the drain for NMOS, and this is the gate. This is the gate of NMOS, this is the gate of PMOS. Now the body will go over here. And this body will go over here. This is your CMOS inverter. Same over here. Now, after placing our components and connecting them, you have to provide them with value. Like, what's the value of this voltage? So, so just right click on this, and a window will appear providing you the providing you the window where you have to input your values. By default, for voltage source, the Input value is DC voltage, and currently we only need DC over here now, so I'll be using DC value to be 5 volts. Whereas in this case, you can have when you can have multiple V, no, I'm not. Yeah. yeah, sorry, my bad, I just lost track. Okay, by default, here over here is a DC value, but in case you want to change it, like if you want to sign me a pulse wave, anything else. Just click over here that is advanced and voila there are various other types like there is a pulse wave, there is a sine wave, exponential etc. I will be using a sine wave so I will be providing a oh, DC offset of 50 millivolts amplitude of let's say 300 millivolts frequency of 10 Kilohertz. Okay. Okay. This is the value of this voltage source. Now it's quite disturbing to see it over here. So I'll just move it. Just click on Move tool. Select the component I want to move. Let's say I want to move this. I'll be moving it 
way below V1. This looks much better. Now, this V1 and V2 are more confusing. I'll just change their names. So just right click on it, right click on V1, and type in the name you want it. Like, I want VDD over here, and this one will be oh my god. Click on V2. Okay, now hit V in. That is the input voltage, output voltage. Now to enter the value of PMOS, similarly just click on right click on the PMOS and let the length be 2 and the width be 100. So the W by ratio that is W upon L will be 100 upon 2, which is 50. Same goes over here. Two. And this is number. The ratio is 50. Now you're done with your circuit. Now I'll just explain you the search tool. So when you click over here and type in the component you want to search. As as it is, I have explained you a simple and basic circuit. So there is nothing much on this circuit. But when you are making complex circuits, where having various various multiple components, and you want to search a component. Just hit over here, enter the component, find next, and as you can see, this turns into yellow. That is the component you have entered will turn into yellow color. That is, it indicates the component that you have been searching for. Now I've explained you almost everything except this drag tool. So click on drag, click on the component you want to drag, and here you go. This is the PMOS. I'm dragging it. Let's say I place it over here. And again click on it and I place it okay. So this is how I placed it. And if there is some mistake over here, I'll just delete it. Use the cut tool, delete it. Yeah. Now I'll reconnect it. This happens when you use a drag tool. The connection of the wire gets mismatched. That's a normal thing in this device. Okay. I have explained, explained you every single component over here. Now coming back to the circuit. You have done with your circuit. Just hit on run. Or you can just go over here, simulate and run. Both are the same thing. After hitting on run, a new window pops up. This gives you various other input values options. Like if you want to have an AC swift, AC analysis, DC swift. What the uh, you are if you want to have noise in your circuit, so what type of noise you have, what type of sweep you want, octave, linear, decade, you want DC transfer, you want transient response, anything you want, you can have it. I'll be sticking to transient response and the stop time will be 0 0.000 or say zero one. Doesn't matter any much. Okay. After hitting on OK, this window pops up this over here draft 4 this black box is your output window where you will get your output this is the circuit this red pencil like thing is basically a tester when you click on this wire let's say I'm clicking over here as you can see there's an input wave now if you have if you had changed the transient time to be 0 0.001 then you would have gotten a much better graph but since I have like 0 0.001 this is how you get it anyways now I want an output graph so I just right click on it right click on the black box click on add lot clean this is your input graph then you click over here and then the output this is your output graph as you can see when the input is low the output is high when the output is high, the input is low. There is a clipping occurring over here because of the value of this being much high. The offset is 50 millivolts and this is 300 millivolts. Therefore, you are getting a clipping along with the transient time to be like 0 0.001. Therefore, this is the graph that is being obtained. If you like reduce it to 0 0.001, you will get a much more nice, much more clear graph. So. Now this is your circuit. This so okay. Now I'll be concluding my part because I've explained you like basic entire basic concept of 
creating a circuit on a new schematic everything you need to know this is just how to make a schematic how to make a circuit how to label your circuits everything is done now in the next tutorial i'll be explaining you how to create a sim board like this over here is a circuit for pmos or uh, for cmos inverter now the symbol when you click over here diode now if you search let's say short key you can see over here right this is the symbol for short key diode similarly this cmos inverter over here also has a symbol to create a symbol just go on new symbol and this will be explained in the next tutorial of lt spice where i'll be explaining you how to create your symbol for your socket or for any from any other circuit that you use and now uh, and in the end i would just like to say if you are uh, you find my video like if you liked it with the like with the share button if you have any suggestions or anything you want to comment just comment below if you don't like my video you can hit the dislike button no issues if you want to see more videos like this hit the subscribe button and uh, hit the bell button to get the notification of my videos been uploaded so i will be signing off now bye bye have a good day